Hello developers and friends of FreeCodeCamp! If this is your first time here, my name is Eleferia and I'm doing some FreeCodeCamp challenges, especially data visualization with G3. We are currently somewhere in the middle of these challenges and if you haven't watched the previous one, I will leave a link in the description box so you can go and check them out by yourself. If you think that this is going to be an interesting video, then just like and subscribe! So let's get started! Okay, we have to change the color of an SVG element. The bars are in the right position, but they are all in the same black color. SVG has a way to change the color of the bars. In SVG, a rect shape is colored with a fill attributes. It supports hex codes, color names and RGB values, as well as more complex options like gradients and transparency. Add an attribute method to set the fill of all the bars the color navy. Okay, I'm going to copy uh, this attribute here and then I'm going to line 22. So I need a dot attribute and then I'm going to have fill and our color which is navy. Okay, and let's check this out. And it is correct. So you have an attribute and then a color which is navy. So what next we have to do is to add labels to D3 elements. So D3 lets you label a graph element, such as a bar, using the SVG text element. Like the rect element, a text element needs to have X and Y attributes to play it on the SVG canvas. It also needs to access the data to display those values. D3 gives you a high level of control over how you label your bars. The code is the editor already binds the data to each new text element. First, append text nodes to the SVG. Next, add attributes for the X and Y coordinates. This should be calculated the same way as the rect ones. Expect the Y value for the text should make the label C3 units higher than the bar. Finally, use the D3 text method to set the label equal to the data point value. Okay, maybe this is quite complicated, but we will see. I'm going to line 27 and I will first start this code with append. And inside the append, I'm going to have the text. So right after that, I'm also going to have an attribute with an X. And oops, I have two lines here. Let me fix that. Okay, so I have an attribute X, but inside here, I think that I'm going to need something like D for data, I for index, and then we also have to do it like this. But now I, it says in the description that it has to be uh, I to 30. This shouldn't be caps lock. Okay. And right after that, I also need to do pretty much the same thing for the Y. So I'm going to have Y in double quads and then again I'm going to have D and I and in the same way this time we have to control the height. So it would be H, mm, let me think, I think it's going to be minus 3 times D and uh, this is because we have this part here that says 3 times D. Okay, and after the parentheses, I'm also going to have a minus 3. Okay, and this is because it says that it has to sit like 3 units higher than the bar. But when it says higher, we have to give it a minus 3 because it's like the opposite. In the end, I also have to add the, the text because we do all these things just because to have a better text or a better looking text. And now maybe, uh, yes, we did run the test and they are actually correct. If you didn't understand this part, just go click a little bit back and reread some stuff and I think it will be easier for you to, to catch this. Okay, so let's continue with one more challenge and this time is style D3 labels. D3 methods can add styles to the bar labels. The fill attribute sets the color of the text for a text node. 
the style method sets CSS rules for other styles, such as font family or font size. So what we have to do is to set the font size of the text elements to 25 pixels and the color of the text to red. Okay, so let's go to line uh, 31 and add the attribute. And now we have to add first like the font size and it will be 25. If we don't write anything here, it means 25 pixels. And then I'm also going to add a fill and this time the fill will be red. You have also to use the double quotes or single quotes, but if you don't uh, use the quotes, uh, you'll get a wrong message. So yes, that was also correct. And guys, I don't think that I will continue right now. I will show you the rest of the challenges in the next video as I don't want this kind of videos to get too long. But if you have another uh, option and if you want bigger or longer uh, videos, longer duration in videos, just leave a comment below and I'll do my best. Thank you very much for watching. Have an amazing day and see you in the next video.